Gerard is the epitome of what the American dream gets to offer. His dad promised hunting, fishing, and access to the outdoors. But that dream never came to reality. His dad had to work, didn't have time to take him into the outdoors, didn't have time to take him hunting, didn't have time to take him fishing. So Gerard had to figure it out for himself. So when he first started coming to San Jacinto and just coming out here to the check station to hunt ducks, um, people would give us some odd looks, you know, and, and, and they would look at us like, like, well, what are you guys doing here? Because I'm not your typical duck hunter. But the ironic part in that is um, my country and my heritage is, is formed from hunting. And I remember my grandpa telling me stories uh, when, when the country was first formed. and. The country of India was divided and it was split into India and Pakistan in 1942. And my grandpa told me stories when they were migrating from India to Pakistan. He was telling me that the whole country was in turmoil. You know, the, the country, there was a civil war. So there was no stores open. There was no grocery store that you can just go down and pick up some produce or there was no restaurants open. So what they did was they actually took little branches off trees and they, they fashioned it into a slingshot and they, and they used a slingshot to hunt doves and to hunt quails that were on the ground and, and doves that were sitting on trees and that's how they, they survived through the migration from India to Pakistan and you know so the, my heritage even though I didn't grow up hunting and, and I started hunting when I was 26 years old hunting has always been in my blood. His story starts unlike yours began a pellet gun, a rifle range, trying to figure out what hunting was all about. It took a mentor, somebody to take him under his proverbial wing, to introduce him to this world of shotguns and this world of duck hunting. So duck hunting is uh, something that really hooked me to hunting. You know, just, just it's watching the bird and when you shoot it, when it hits the water and your dog goes out and gets, that, that never gets old to me. I, I can sit in the blind now and still tell you guys the first time I shot a duck and where it was and how I shot it and which way it came in. It just, it's just amazing to me the way the ducks, the way they fly, the way they flap their wings, the way when you call and the wings turn and they turn around and they come into your decoy and the way you work the jerk string and they're looking at it and the, and the decoy and everything that goes along into duck hunting, it just, that, that's what got me hooked. So everything to me is about duck hunting. As a Christian, as a Christian, he understands what the Creator has done for all of us. But as a hunter, he understands that hunting is more than just a trigger pull, and it's more than just a kill. Me going out and shooting ducks, what got me hooked to duck hunting, it was more, me going out and just being in nature and just looking at all the stars and looking at the sunrise and the sunset, which are the most beautiful you ever see in sitting in a duck blind. And just looking at all that stuff and how everything is put together, it, it all points to God for me. It all, it all points to a, a greater creator, you know, who, who, who spoke and basically brought those things into existence. And the same God who created all that actually cares about me, a guy who's just sitting in a duck blind who's a nobody. When a duck comes into my decoy and I get up to shoot it and I pull the trigger, that's actually the start of my hunt. Because I, I, I take that duck and first I do I thank God for it and you know just thank him for the opportunity that he's given me to grow up in America, you know, and be a Pakistani American to come out and enjoy the freedom that this land has. You know, sometimes we wouldn't get the opportunity in Pakistan to go hunt and you know have to have that freedom that we get in America and you know I'm, I'm really thankful for that. So when, when I take that duck and I and I take it home with me, I'll put it in the cooler and I take care of it right from the start. You know and um, just taking care of that meat and taking it home to my family and you know when um, 
when my kids see it, they see me getting out of my truck, and they run up to me and they and, and they give me they give me hugs, and they get the duck, and they look at it, looking at it, look, look at it in their hand. I'm, I'm, I'm inst instilling the value in them from as a child that my dad put in me by telling me the stories of duck of hunting, and I want them to use that, you know, ha have that what I have in me and the desire I have in duck hunting. I want, I want to put that in them. So when I take that duck and I take it home and, and, and my dad's there and you know that, that, that connection that was lost from moving from Pakistan to America, it all gets put together and I'm, I'm, I'm able to, that duck brings me and my dad in a hunt together. Even though he, he's not in the field with me, even though he's not out there shooting it with me, he's actually part of the hunt through that duck that I just given into his hand and, and he gets it, he plucks it. And then he, he, he feels like he's there and he, and he has that bond with his child that he didn't have in Pakistan, but he has it now in America. And he gets the duck and he, he plucks it and, and my wife gets it and we, we cook it and the whole family is brought together through that duck that I just shot. My name is Gerard Masi. I'm a Pakistani American. I'm a duck hunter or I'm a Christian. Everyone has their own story. This is mine. It's in the blood.